Israel is supporting the Philippines in its maritime claims over the South China Sea, as follows a meeting between Prime Minister Antony Albanese and President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. in Manila. The two leaders have signed a strategic partnership agreement to boost relations and agreed to hold defence ministers' meetings every year. Bernard Burnham with this report. The Philippines and Australia elevated their bilateral ties to a strategic partnership, coming on the heels of Australia unveiling its Southeast Asian economic strategy to 2040. During his official visit to the Philippines, Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese met with Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. at the Presidential Palace of Malacanang in Manila. Mr. Marcos Jr. thanked Mr. Albanese for Australia's support for its maritime claim in the South China Sea, which the country calls the West Philippine Sea, while Mr. Albanese reiterated Australia's support for a 2016 arbitral award that invalidated China's nine-dash line claim in the disputed war. A word of thanks to you, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, for the strong support that you have uh, uh, that you have made for the Philippines, especially during the past uh, ASEAN conference, where uh, you have made very clear that uh, uh, the uh, claims that are being made upon our mar uh, Philippine maritime territory are not valid and have not been recognized and uh, are not uh, in conjunction or in uh, uh, consistent with uh, international law. The two countries also formalized an annual defense ministers meeting and signed two agreements, one on national soil health strategy and two on work and holiday visa arrangements. Mr. Albanese also announced Australia's support for reintegration programs for former combatants and livelihood programs for women and the vulnerable sector in conflict-affected Mindanao. He also said his country is doubling the Australia Award scholarships for Filipino nationals. Filipinos account for some 3 percent of Australia's international student population. Finally, Mr. Albanese reaffirmed Australia's commitment to an open, prosperous and stable region with ASEAN at its centre. Australia is working with our partners, including, of course, the Philippines, to shape a region where sovereignty is upheld and economic cooperation is underpinned by international rules-based trade. The Philippines and Australia have a Standing Visiting Forces Agreement ratified by the Philippine Senate in 2012. Australia is one of only two countries with such a deal with the Philippines, the other being the United States. However, Mr. Marcus Jr., during the recently concluded ASEAN summit, insisted on the Philippines' agency and independence. This was in the face of critics viewing the country's external defense cooperation as U.S.-led. In late August, the Philippines and Australia concluded their first ever amphibious defense trading against the backdrop of renewed Chinese aggression in the South China Sea. High-level engagements between the two countries include the visit of Australian Foreign Minister Penny Wong to the Philippines last May and the visit of Australian Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister Richard Marles last February and also in August. This visit by Mr. Albanese marks the first such visit by an Australian Prime Minister to the Philippines in 20 years. Juan Bernal, CNA, Makati in Metro Manila.